As Matsuo Basho said, do not seek to follow in the footsteps of others. Instead, seek what they sought. This is about knowing not what others have done. This is about not chasing somebody or replicating somebody or imitating somebody. This is about figuring out what you want. What do you want? And then really growing to understand that, really beginning to form your own opinion. And it doesn't mean that you don't listen to other people. It doesn't mean that you don't sit at somebody's feet and learn from them. It simply means that the goal is not imitation. The goal is understanding. And when you go into learning something, knowing that that thing has utility, that when you get that skill, when you really understand that thing, what it's doing is giving you a brick that you're going to be able to build something with. But remember, the goal is the building. The goal is to create something that didn't exist before. And the only way to do that is to actually understand what you're doing. Mimicking the motions of somebody else will not allow you to create something that has never been before. It will not allow you to bring something into the world that has never before been seen. It will only allow you to replicate. And your goal in life isn't to be a copy machine. Your goal in life is to express yourself, to create things that only you can create, that your mind in this time period with all the unique things that you've encountered, that you've learned, the connections that you've made, the way that you bring things together, that's never ever going to exist again. It's all you uniquely. That's your job in this life, is to build something from that place. But to do that, you actually have to understand what it is that you want. And as Erwin McManus said, there are few things more powerful than a life lived with passionate clarity. But that clarity only comes when you understand. It only comes when you take your time learning to really grasp the concept, to not read a book, to tell someone that you've read it, to not complete a task, to check it off a list. The goal is to actually understand how to use that thing. Knowledge isn't power. Used knowledge is power. Putting that to use to actually do something. Understanding it well enough to create from that thing. That's the end goal. So don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about what other books other people have read. Don't worry if you ever make it to the last page of anything. Simply ask yourself, do I understand what I need to understand? to build the life I want to build, to bring to this world the things that I want to bring. However counterintuitive, however weird, it doesn't matter. If it's a moment of beauty for you and you understand how to build it, build it. That's the greatest joy you're ever going to experience in life is being truly and uniquely yourself. As JBS Haldane said, the world shall perish not for a lack of wonders, but for a lack of wonder. Everything around you is incredible if you're willing to look at it that way. Everything around you can be taken for granted if that's your perspective. But it really is about the frame that you choose to put around things. I mean, simply being alive is already insane. The odds are so stacked against you, not only just being a human, but being a human at this moment in time. This moment in time where breakthroughs in technology are happening at, at an unprecedented rate, where breakthroughs in medical science are happening at an unprecedented rate, where our ability to connect with people, to empathize with people all the way around the globe, all of the changes that have happened in technology and telecom and connectivity, health, everything. We're living in the most miraculous time ever. But you have to look at it that way. And as Joseph Campbell said, life is a wonderful, wonderful opera, except that it hurts. So the question is, do you see it as the beautiful opera? Or do you just pay attention to the pain? And at the end of the day, you're gonna get what you focus on. They're both true. This is both the most amazing time that's ever happened ever in recorded history. And yet real things that are terrifying are also happening. But where you put your energy, where you put your attention, where you put your focus is going to determine what you see. And that is the most fascinating and the most important thing you have to understand about the way that your mind works. You get what you focus on. If you focus on the things that are bad, they will become real. They will become exaggerated. They will begin to monopolize your thoughts. You'll see them everywhere. It's called the reticular activating system. Your mind is literally designed to pay attention to the things that you notice. 
Once you notice a certain car, you see it everywhere. Once you notice a certain dog, you see it everywhere. Once you hear a certain name for the first time, suddenly you realize that that name has been all around you this entire time. But now that you're focusing on it, now that you're looking for it, it is everywhere. So whatever you look for, it's gonna be everywhere. If you look for the negative, it'll be there. But if you look for the positive, it will overwhelm you. And as Joseph Campbell said, people say what we're all seeking is a meaning for life, but I don't think that's what we're really seeking. I think what we're seeking is the experience of truly being alive. And that's it. That's the juice. Figuring out that thing that makes you come alive. It isn't keeping up with the Joneses. It isn't how much you're getting paid. It isn't anything other than for you. Something very specific. It will be different for everyone, but for you. Find that thing that makes you come alive. Focus on it. Think about it. Put your time and attention there. Shift away from seeing the pain in the opera and instead seeing the wonderment in it all. Seeing the glory that is just everything around you, the opportunities, the fact that you're alive. Once you can see that those basic things that you take for granted, that you can breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, all of that stuff, once you start seeing how miraculous it really is, once you start seeing how we're connected to each other, once you understand that the name of the game isn't wealth, it isn't fame, it isn't ambition or success, it's neurochemistry. It's feeling a certain way. It's finding fulfillment in your life. Once you realize that, you'll understand this is a game of attention and you entirely control what you focus on. So choose very wisely, my friends, because your life will literally become the summation of the things that you look at.